awesome to watch it with you guys because you're laughing at things that we're so tired of, but <laughs> but also laughing in places where we didn't think you find would find the troll. I was like, is anyone gonna find this yes, funny? That, Who cares? I love that because I improvised that when we were writing it. She was like, what does what does that mean? And I'm like, I don't know, but it's funny, right? <laughs> and then you laughed and I won. <laughs> So I guys, I have to ask that that opening scene where you're kind of beating the crap out of each other. What, yes. Was that fun? Difficult? No, easy? <laughs> <laughs> no, that really hurt. <laughs> Lennon is. Jess is always like, what, "What do we need stunt girls for? We don't need stunt girls. Like, I'll do these moves." And I was like, "I don't think you want to do that because I'm gonna straight throw you down to the ground." And the stunt coordinator looked like La Femme Nikita, and she was just like, uh, or like Crouching yeah. Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and I was yeah. like, oh no, I don't have any physical strength. Like none, all of the things we write about are real. Things are longer and softer, right. and I don't have any physical strength. That's true. So, but you- Or coordination. Had, and you had trained recently yeah. to do an MMA fight in yeah. that movie, The House, which yeah. you guys have to see because Lennon is next level insane. It's pretty fun. Blood spurts out of her mouth. Oh, slow motion blood. <laughs> right, right, the same world, right? That yeah, you want to exactly. see. Playing house straight to blood spurting. But anyway, so she was really feeling it. Also, you've been binging the Americans where Carrie Russell's training oh, her daughter. So come on, man. Who can get me in a room with Carrie Russell? <laughs> Anybody here? <laughs> she is everything. And this season, she's, no spoilers, but like, you see her like practicing. It's all I want to do is be in a garage practicing self-defense moves with Carrie Russell. But yeah, anyway, we it was it was yeah, so it, it hurt, was like, very help. fun. But we did it with the stunt double as well. Like I did it with Jess's stunt double so that we could get it faster and stuff like that. But it was super fun, and we were sore. Yeah. So you mentioned you mentioned your improvising, and I know you guys. You're the way you do it. You record yourselves and then you transcribe it, and yeah. then you kind of form the script based on that. But how crazy do those improvisations get when it's just the two of you? Well, the thing we do differently now that we did when we first started is we force whoever's writing the episode to We're sit in the room. Them. I don't think you can count it as being forced. No, but they don't want to do it. Especially the Keegan and me scenes, they're just like, oh, God, I have I to watch Keegan. you guys, you know, like, say sexual things to each other that, like, a man we wish would say to us but has never said to us. So, like, we'll be doing a scene with Keegan, and then I'll stop. I'll be like, ooh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that hit me in all the right... That gives me a tingle in my dangle. And, like... A tingle in my dangle. Our head writer's like, God damn it. Why did I sign on to another season of this insanity? Because we're paying him. It's also very satisfying because we're creating great work. Do you guys, do you save those recordings? Like, you should release them. Oh, no. You have These... them, and they will never see the light of day. They're so There's weird. There's so much offensive, inappropriate stuff that we can only, I mean, we right. edit, edit, edit. So we get, that's like our source, raw source material, and then we sort of pick. But our, Lennon our also favorites. has a superpower besides kicking the shit out of me. She's like a shapeshifter. So, like, if we're. But for, like, real people. So, like, if we're, like, at a restaurant and some strange waiter comes over, like, I just have to be, like, five, four, three, two. And then Lennon does the exact voice of this waiter. So she can transform into these people. So, like, she does a better Keegan than Keegan. She does a Zach Woods, like, you wouldn't, mm -hmm. like, doesn't quit. Um, so it's really easy. And I just play myself the whole time. Because <laughs> I don't no, have... Sometimes you trade back and forth. Sometimes, sometimes I do my mom. If we get stuck... When? Yeah. Or if we'll get stuck, yeah. we'll, like, switch and we'll play each other. That's a lot of fun when they're transcribing it. Yeah. Yeah, because they oh, know. Oh, and in the finale. Or you'll flip around while we're doing it. In the finale, we get to dance with drag queens. We do a straight up Tina Turner, Proud Mary yeah. drag queen performance. So we got to improvise as drag queens for an entire day. And that was like Lennon's jam because yeah. she's a huge RuPaul's Drag Race fan. So huge. Obviously, you guys huge. are very, very close. Do you have. Uh... <laughs> close. <laughs> We live up each other's <laughs> buttholes at this point. <laughs> like, literally, we could not be closer than two human beings. I mean, it's just insane. Do you, do you have blackout times, like, for communication? Like, no. Are you not allowed to yes, she's not allowed to text me after 10 p.m. Whatever. I, no, I texted true. her at 1.30 yesterday, uh, yesterday morning. Well, it was a group text, so I forgave it. Also, was asleep. But I can't, like, at 10, like, sh after 10 p.m., she would be, like, here's everything that's going on in my mind, and what if we did this, and, I gotta, and I'm like, no, 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 you can't do that, because then I open up that piece of my brain that I've turned off in order to get deep rest that you need to survive. I don't need it. I'm like Bill Clinton, I only sleep four hours a night. I'm like Bill a shark, Clinton. I have to keep swimming. Keep swimming to survive. 
How about this is a oh straight God. up depressing story, but I became obsessed. You know, we're going to talk about uh, me getting the big C, which, by the way, fucking nailed it, killed it. <laughs> Insurance bought these titties. This Savannah! And they go all night. Savannah! Guys, this panel we know each and every one of your names. Do you find that disturbing? That is true. That is, that is true. Disturbing and or charming? I need to take a minute and look at everybody's faces. You little cuties. Is this a great place to have a fucking panel? Look at you guys. Look at you guys. Fresh faced. <laughs> Not a wrinkle among, among you. But anyway, I used to text Lennon, so, so at night I'd become upset. I would just go on a Google hole, right? And don't ever do this because none of the information don't on the ever internet just is accurate. Google, am I gonna die? Or right. Or ways to die before you're 40. Anyway, but I would get somehow I hacked into a to a database. It was, it was like, like a medical journal, like that only doctors read for the most current medical. But I don't understand and numbers. So I just get a text that was like. Len, can you go on this website? Here's the Here's password. The link, <laughs> uh, and tell me what percentage I'm going to die. And she would have to do this at like 11.30 like, at night. All right, hold on. She's like, Looks, look, things are looking good for you. I'm like, great, now I can go to sleep. And then Lennon's up all night like, oh, God, what have I just read? Anyway, we digress, but I mean, yeah. You brought up the big C. Yeah. Um, you guys write it into the show this we year? We did, we did. Did you have any hesitation in doing that? Yes. <laughs> this, yes, yes, who wants to write about cancer? Also... You know, I mean, we do deal, We, you've seen, uh, obviously, seasons one and two, there are moments where we go, like, sad or deep or divorced or, you know, real, real, yeah. real stuff that people deal with in our lives and, and also stuff that friends deal with. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it had just happened, right? And um, it wasn't fun or funny. Although... Funny things happen, but, I mean, that's like when your dad dies... You know, your your uncle Larry comes in and says some crazy thing about the biscuits, right. and you're like, ha ha, because you're like, ah, oh, so well, upset, and you needed a laugh. But in a show where we can choose whatever we want to happen, yeah, to did it, we want to relive people, it? Also, we, as improvising, we had to relive these these moments, which were pretty intense. Yeah, and then write them, and then act them out, and then edit them, and then talk about them for t for a couple. But months. straight up, like. These are the kind of crazy things that would happen. Because Lennon, of course, was with me the day that I found out. So, And my husband was out of town, unfortunately. And so everybody thought we were a couple. And, like, we were getting treated really well because of it. <laughs> like, they're just like, look at these sisters doing it for themselves. Yeah. And then, like, my husband shows up and ruins everything the next day. And they're like, who's this? Are they in, like, no. a Queen Bee scenario <laughs> where they all, like, serve her? But... And literally, it was it three of us at every doctor's appointment. So then we, get, we go over to the plastic surgeon... And of course, she's in this like fabulous chic jumpsuit. She looks like it's she just navy. stepped off like a Pasadena tennis court. And she's like, great. She opens up a suitcase of boobs. And she's like, well, just select which one. No, first, she looks at my nipple and she goes, see how it's pointing downwards like it's kind of sad? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And she goes, we're going to perk that right up. And I'm like, all right. So she's like, put your hands on these boobs, there were three of them, and tell me which one feels the most like yours. Were, yeah, the implants. And like, so I'm like, squeeze, I'm like, I don't touch my own boob. Like, I don't, I'm like dead from the waist up. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and so my husband comes over and he like pokes it from the side and I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I go, Lennon, I need you to get your hands on this I situation. Like, no, this is not appropriate. Like, she was standing in the back. I Lennon was, just, was standing in the I back. I was like just taking notes. That was my thing that I did was I took notes. I made sure that she had all her pamphlets. Right. You know what I mean? So Lennon steps up. She's like, all right. <sighs> and she feels each one like a sommelier would like, like, like smell a Why fine wine. Why are you wine. getting up to demonstrate this? <laughs> so ridiculous. She was like this. And then she just goes, it's number two. <laughs> and I put that boob into my body without even a second guess. I was like, it's two. And they were like, okay. And that's it. And they're perfect. But how did you know it was number two? What? What How did you, you know? How, what do you mean? It felt the same. <laughs> like, exactly. Why? Why do we know this? Why are we able but to I, like, do this? But I, like, tested it out. Like, I was like, yeah. The, the weight, yeah, the heft of one. it. That one. Did so we put all this in the yeah. show. I mean, it's so a, one of my... Scene. You'll yeah, see it's a that great scene. scene. Episode five. Did you find that, that writing about it and putting it in the show helped you process yes. kind of what you guys it were going did. through? It really life. did. We, there, was that, there was that moment. I'm going to start crying. Oh, God. Don't even, you guys, come guys. on. This is supposed to be fun. See what guys. I mean? I'm so, dead inside, so I can't. And you won't see it. That's not true. You're alive. You won't see it. Yeah, it's true. So <clears throat> there was a, 
I mean, we're, we're by ourselves. We're reenacting essentially the moment she found out, or the That's you know the, the moment where she met her oncologist or whatever. Plain, and then played by Laurie Metcalf. Woo! And Michaela Watkins plays um, my plastic surgeon. Yeah, so Whoa. phenomenal. I mean, the cast this season is off the charts. Yeah. So uh, we so they transcribe it, right? So we sort of like purge it out of our bodies, forget about it, and then it comes to us in written form, and we Ugh. look at what we wrote, and we're like, "There's no way we said that." And then we go through and we sort of circle what we like, and then we take that and put it in as our f first rough right. draft. Then we, just we shoot it, and then in the edit room, you're editing again. You're like coming yeah. up with the final version of the scene, and so by that time, we'd really cried enough that we like it, we got it out. Yeah, but there was th when we were like doing the rough draft of that of one of these scenes. I, I remember like we just stopped and like held hands and just sobbed, and we were like. Oh, okay. If if nobody sees this, if yeah. this gets made and literally like just only you guys see it or nobody, it would still be worth it because yeah. of what we needed, you know, to move through it or whatever. Also, I, I mean, I had it's crazy because you know you get you need you need help for the first time really in your life, and then all of a sudden your 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 female friends just surround you like. I didn't even ask, and they would just show up, or like I would text one of them, like having a down day, and then it would be like, "Ding dong, I'm in the, I was in the neighborhood." Like they had a, they had a chain. It was very weird. Bird bones. You want to be in a hospital with bird bones? Our first, my first day at chemo, she was like, to this beautiful nurse we had. She was like, "Now we like you." She was like, "Baby blues, listen to me. Can we book you?" And she was like, "Book me." She's like, "We would love to have you at each session." And so we did. We had a concierge nurse. Simply because she was yeah. very attractive, and we liked looking at her. But at any rate, I think what was so important for me anyway was to have a love letter to what these women did for me, and my, and my husband, and my family. It's like everyone just like raises you up and carries you through the storm. And I mean, our show is about best friendship and like there's no other, you know, I would not have survived without Lennon. I wouldn't have survived without my best friends. So I wanted to show how fucking kick-ass women are for each other because there's, yeah. there's nothing like it. Is, it. is that what you hope the legacy of the show is? I mean... Yes. Yes. It's that we, I mean, we're so strong together. Like Trump can go fuck himself because... <laughs> Honestly, it's like you can't we keep get political. You can't keep these bitches down. You just can't. And and we won't. That's the, gonna be the quote that Great. comes out of this panel. Great. That's gonna be like it's gonna be like playing house USA quote that <laughs> Trump can fuck, Great. Go fuck Hashtag. So you brought up Bird Bones, whom I love. She's amazing. So good. But this season we also see Bocephus come back. Oh god. I know there are there are some people <laughs> that that hate him like legitimately like. Is Jess one? Well, she is. I'm like the only one who hates him. him. Everyone likes him because he. No, there's shows a couple up people a on Twitter. Every really? Once in a while, they'll be like, you know, when you're done with both Stevens, that'd be okay with me, <laughs> you know, or whatever. I don't know if my mother really gets it. She's just like, is Lana gonna do that man thing again? <laughs> She's just so pretty, and I'm like, I know. She's so, She's so pretty. Why is she putting that hat with hair attached to it? Is also, we keep thinking she's dead. Like, how could you possibly bring both Cephas back? But then that fucking hat comes out of the box. And I'm like, oh, God. Because when she puts on that outfit, she is so rude to me. I don't and know why you're saying on she. on and off screen, she treats me like shit. Well, you become a different person when I put that hat on, too. You get real assholey. <laughs> Shit, Dana is over it. Is, Ornery. Is Bocephus always just kind of kicking around? Like, is it like a Valerie Cherish, like Lisa Kudrow situation? Like, is he always oh in the back of your God. head? Oh, my God. More like show. a Freddy Krueger. No, who dies and keeps Freddy coming Kruger. back? I never saw the movies. <laughs> That's so true. No joke. Isn't it Freddy? Like, comes... Like you think you comes burned him the, down in the house and then he comes back because well, I mean, he lives that's in your what nightmares. Made him immortal, but then he like sucks <laughs> you down through your bed while you're dreaming. Great. So can I can I talk to Bocephus for a second? Uh, why this? I know you early? don't have the hat. I they they want to talk to Bocephus. Do you've unleashed it? So have at it. All right, you've done enough talking. <laughs> this feels right to you, right to be in Texas, Bocephus. There's this also, there's also yeah, like a biker is, festival is, like, oh, in town That's right, right, all those Hells Angels riding around. <laughs> that feels right. Yeah, it used to be yeah. a circus roustabout, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Back Wasn't in the too day. far from here. 
uh, down on the Rio Grande. <laughs> <laughs> What is your favorite thing about Jess, Bocevis? Jessica? Yeah. <laughs> Don't. Don't. Do you see the way she looks at me? It's so demeaning. Oh, she's got curves in all the right places. Oh, Jandana Banana. You got some new top bits? I could do your own routine for you, Bocevis. Go right Piece ahead. Come, come up with That's something That's what new. they came for, to hear you do it. <laughs> I mean, you said it. I don't have to, right? Just like the Toyota Camry. <laughs> I mean, so with Bocephus away now. Oh, I'm putting him away. Okay. I, I wanted to hear his opinion on Jess, but Jess filled it out. The Schlitz. Who drinks a Schlitz in your life? Anybody? Did you keep guys you grew it up sounded with? Sounded right in the moment. Yeah. Come out. No, guys, no. I want to come back to Tina Turner, who okay. icon, amazing. Uh, why Tina? Was it because she has also overcome so much, or was it just like you love the song? She Proud. is the ultimate survivor, right? right. I mean, yeah. we've seen the movie. Proud Mary. I mean, yeah, I listened to a tremendous amount of Tina during during. Yeah. And so we. I mean, what we it do. It would come on at a like. It would come on at a Rite Aid, and I would just like point my phone to the. <laughs> To yeah, the like, and and so then, like the yeah, lights. and she's a survivor for sure. But also, we just like desperately wanted to be in those weird mini dresses she wore, and like a Tina Turner wig, and we it's knew iconic, we wanted to be right? with drag queens. We just yeah. knew, and and there's this really beautiful scene where we're like backstage. I won't give it all away, but like why we end up there. But we're backstage, and they're doing us over. And, and they say, you know, I, I say, I don't feel comfortable with my new boobs, like they're not mine, because they say, like, I gotta put these double Ds in the window, you know? And they say, did you, did you purchase them? Did you, do you have the receipt? They're yours, you know? <laughs> yeah. Because we're all survivors of something, yeah. you know? And so. Well, I mean, in the classic, we're all born naked, and the rest is, is drag. drag. Yeah. So. So yeah. I, I haven't seen this episode, I've only seen four. Yes. I've, I've seen your Instagrams. I've wanted to see this episode since I saw your Instagrams. <laughs> How much of the dance do you still know? Oh God, that dress. <laughs> it's a lot of that. And it's a lot of, a lot of feet too. Well, you know what happened is we did it, first of all, we were so stupid. We bought these stripper heels and then decided to dance in them. And I'm not a graceful woman. As I said, I don't have any physical strength or skills. So I took Lennon down finally, pulled her down. I fell so many times. Just but, three. But we did it a couple times, and we asked the drag queens who were in the back, like, and it was Detox, uh, Katya, um, Bob the drag queen, and Jiggly, Jiggly Caliente, Caliente, and Bob the drag queen. <laughs> and we were like, you Just know, you know girls, babes. do you have any like tips? And what did Katya say? She said, "Don't be afraid to get ugly. Don't be afraid to flirt with the grotesque." Right. <laughs> so that's when we were like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. And that's when we really got into Tina, you know, because she's just like, ah, to go, to go. like she just like, yeah. just like lets it loose. Are you are you comfortable showing the moves a little bit right no, now? We could do that last one. I don't want you to fall off the stage. It's though. not gonna be. <laughs> 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 Just yeah, the classic. And then, and then, a, and then a roll in, you know, to each other and back. Yeah. You're going to have to break that out at karaoke next time you go. Oh, yeah. Go. Yeah, yeah, the, the matching dance. Len does a mean um, fancy. <laughs> oh, yeah, Reba, Reba McIntyre. That one, Reba McIntyre. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> tells a real story. I wasn't sure if it was Reba McIntyre or Iggy Azalea. You know? What is it? I was sure if you're talking about Reba or Iggy. Oh, never Iggy. <laughs> never <laughs> Iggy! That's another pull quote. Listen. Never Iggy. Len and Parham's <laughs> I think we're gonna. Always Iggy's Reba. like hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, I'm sure she's fine. She's just not my. Just but not it's Re for me. Reba. Reba's song is fancy. You know, there's yeah, a good yeah, mashup yeah. of it actually. Of the two of, of, the them. Two of them. I'll, I'll send to it dig to you. Into that. Great. Uh, I think we're gonna take some audience questions now. Okay. All right. <laughs> what y'all wanna know? I just, I'm wondering, how did you guys become besties? I wanna know where you get your highlights done. <laughs> Because that shit's like spun gold. All right. After, we'll table it, sidebar it. 
Um, we both did. We both uh, took uh, improv, came up and started performing at the Upright Citizens Brigade, which is an improv theater in New York and now L.A. Um, everybody that's on television took class there. <laughs> if yeah. You, if you watch, I mean, all of the shows now have our friends in them. If you saw the outfits Lennon and I used to wear on stage, we were just talking about this. They would make this. sense for the 90s. And, it was like a capri 2000s. pant, always a capri pant. A matching set sweater set from, from, the, from Express. Express. <laughs> and we'd be like, boy, we're looking really good. Yeah. What, what were your first impressions? Because I know, and then you guys reconnected The first time I ever show. saw this when she was getting a haircut backstage by one of our improv teachers and I, I was like, oh, I think, I think I've heard she's funny. It was an asymmetrical lob, <laughs> which well, in a was dark ill-advised. Alley, ill-advised. In a basement theater, it's not appropriate. And then I saw Lennon perform and I was like, this woman's hilarious. But then when I really fell in love with her, she came, she did this one woman show called She Tried to Be Normal, which was insane where actually you do the monologue from Freddy Krueger the m- yeah <laughs> right yeah the mom the, the mom, mom telling the story she's real drunk and then the little girl gets killed by Freddy Krueger it's but I was so <laughs> real weird <laughs> I've never laughed so hard at some at something in my life and I actually do you, do you guys know the comedian Brett Gelman he was sitting next to me and I just had to physically punch him like I had to give him a dead arm like every five I was like god damn it she's funny <laughs> and then I started to stalk her as women do I was like, I'll have her. <laughs> and so I'd be like, oh, hey, like casual, like, hey, you want to get coffee? Like, hey. And then we went on, uh, we told each other that we did yoga, which was not true. And then we. I don't know. We, I, we had just moved to California, and I was like, that's what you do there, right? right. You do yoga. So I was like, I great. W- I love yoga. I can't stop doing yoga. <laughs> and so we ended up by accident in an advanced class, yeah. staring at each other, like basically down, through each other's through, vaginas. Yeah. Like with our head on a block, and, and, the, like, and they were like, "This good. feels good, right?" And we were like, <laughs> "Just no. relax into it." And I'm like, "My body doesn't do this." No. And then we went and ate turkey chili, and uh, the rest is I'm glad history. that was after yoga, because you know. Yes. Oh, you don't want that before yoga. No, you <laughs> don't. Yoga farts. <laughs> but yeah, I came home and I told my husband, like, I've met the woman I want to be with for the rest of my <laughs> life, and he was like, "I sure hope you didn't tell her that, because that is straight up creepy." And I waited a little while. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to need some time. Yeah, to think about it. <laughs> yes. Who else? Hi. Hi. Um, Jessica, so you used to perform with Jason Manzoukas yes. in New York. I'm wondering if he's super jealous that Lennon stole you away. <laughs> I wish. He's like, oh, take her, please. He's here. He's here this weekend. Uh, we'll see him tonight. And Jason and I actually went to college together. And we started, he was, I was um, like his little sister. I came to the UCB when he was there. Uh, He had already started classes there. And I used to just like awkwardly stand outside the circle of people he was talking to. And he was just like, oh my God. Like, (laughs) why do you have Hugh Grant's haircut? Get the fuck away from me. (laughs) And then we started writing together. And then he actually directed Lennon's show, the show I'm talking about. And then also now he and I do a two person improv show. So yeah. It's but all yes, full circle. We love we're him. all. It's very incestuous. This this group of us. He's been on the show too. And yeah, he's, he's been, been on the, the show. show. CJ yes. Wolf. Like, yeah, and we're gonna do. Because we both played drums in high school, so we we mind that. The worst is we've both had to kiss Jason, and it, he is a very attractive man that everyone is in love with. But like for us to, to have to do it, we had to both go dead inside. <laughs> and then you had well, to no, do I it mean, too. No, I mean when you're kissing somebody on on something, right? You usually it takes. Forever, you, you do, do it, it over for and over three again. hours, and who wants to kiss anybody yeah. for three hours? And he, he and I were in like a an indie film where we played like a magician and a magician's assistant, <laughs> the amazing Steve in Wyoming, <laughs> <laughs> and we had to do like comedy making out, which was like la la la, you know, it was like real making out. So yeah, it was so insane. Holy shit, though! Can I tell you guys something? <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys. We, so we're like, we're like, we gotta give Maggie like a really hot love interest, right? And so then we were like, well, fuck it. Let's make him. time, right, guys? Let's make him British. (laughs) Yeah. Let's make him British. So we ask our friend. We were like, well, we wrote him sort of like cold, right? But we weren't in room. Like Mr. Darcy, straight up, right? Straight up Bridget Jones. uh, We needed a young Colin Firth. So we asked our British director friend. We don't know who those people are. They don't live in our world. They they are afraid of us. So we said, ask your best girlfriend who she would most like to have sex with in England. That's a short version of the story, but 
And she responded with one name. And then sight unseen, we cast him. And guys, it is going to it deliver went well. it was a good decision. the goods to your dangles <laughs> and your tingles. <laughs> it's so good. Anyway, so watch that unfold. <laughs> Woo! I got to sit behind the camera and be like, oh, that's right. Take it again. <laughs> At one point, I sneaked up behind him. This is when they were having their big kiss, and I was like, hey. <laughs> his name's Ben Wilbon. I go, give her the Ben Wilbon special. He goes, what? He was like, how do you know what that is? That could have been anything. I was like, get out of here. He's already in love with me. Don't worry about it. We'll just let it happen. Yeah. We got it's a cute. question. It's over really cute. Over there? Over here? Over here? Give it to Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Hi. 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 I, just, I just want to know about Wump It Up. Like, are we going to get any more episodes oh. soon? We're back. Listen we're coming episode. back in a week. We're going to record where we're they've been. We're, we're going to do a comedy bang bang. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll figure out the rest. Yeah, we'll but do we some more. Them. We have. We do a podcast uh, called Wump It Up, which is characters that we spun off from They're comedy so bang weird. bang podcast, which is... Yeah. It weirdly makes sense if you if you love playing house and also doesn't make any sense well, there's at all. Also and like tie-ins. I heard a couple of you laughing at DiGiorno pizzas. Why do it's we like a thing that her character in a podcast is obsessed with? We are so we fold in Those on each other. Those fuckers will there's not also... even send me a free pizza. How <laughs> fucking dare they? I think I think we should tw tweet at them. I'm guys, so tweet pissed at them. At them Everybody right now, pizza. tweet. I want you to leave here and I, not right now because you're paying attention. Some of you are tweeting. That's okay. I know you're live tweeting. It's always someone from the CW, like like that they've like given a free and CW? she's like, and, like, like cheese is like gooing from like their mouth and like that's their spokesperson. Come on. No, 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 no. They don't want the tweet forty something market. I want you to tweet at them today and be like, hey, DiGiorno, just FYI, you're getting a lot of free press from these ladies. Okay. Jessica St. Clair told you to go fuck yourself. No. Yeah, tell Everybody, them that. That's what I want them hey. to know. I'm so pissed off. That's the new headline. <laughs> Playing house there. panel, everybody, Jessica just told everybody <laughs> in the go whole world. <laughs> this is inappropriate. I There's don't care, guys. Here. There's no, there are no There's children. children. So anyway, there. she'll be back. On. They've been away on what we Savannah described. Wants to ask yes, a question. Savannah. <laughs> guys, Savannah and I, she sends me mixes. <laughs> I have and I cry to them in my car. She this is the kind of fan involvement we I have. I made you more. Yes! <laughs> yes. All right. Savannah, what's okay. your question? Um, if you were going to host host a HGTV and or Food Network <laughs> oh, show, yeah. what would it be about oh, and God. what would it be called? Oh, God. I, because I'm interested. Okay. North meets South. Like, a, like you do your home cooking like your grits. And I would do like a clam bake, like show you how to throw together a New England clam bake. Yeah, right? Should like pitch it to the you know Food Network. Because Trisha Yearwood, right? Isn't that the woman who does, what does she Trisha's, do? She's married Trisha's to Garth Southern Brooks. Southern yeah. yeah, Garth is always like wandering in with his hat on backwards. <laughs> do you, I'm not really interested in that. Do you watch Pioneer Woman? Garth, Garth is always like wandering into the kitchen with his hat on backwards. We're like, what you got cooking up? I'm like, who cares? He's a genius. He's a musical <laughs> Fine. genius. I don't want to see him in his sweats. Do whatever. Put on some pants. You do think Jeffrey's going to walk into to. Ina Garden's kitchen with sweatpants on? No, because he's a professional. He's a professor at Yale, and he's writing a book, okay? <laughs> That's this called man Class Acts. That has a song called I Got Friends in <laughs> Low Places, okay? I don't think he's going to be a professor at Yale. He is a professor... Of love. This is the kind of okay. banter you're going to get on North Meet South. <laughs> right? W Angry banter. Do you guys watch Pioneer Woman? She does, yes. right? Yes, I love a Pioneer Woman. Although, her dress, you gotta, you're got you going to give yourself a heart attack. Because <laughs> she's just like, put a pound of butter on a bunch of potatoes, and there you go. <laughs> but God, wouldn't I love a man who's just like wrangling a steer and then like coming home. And But she has to homeschool so those kids. So, Food, Food Network is your obsession? <laughs> what do you say to get Chris? Food Network is your obsession, HGTV is you, or is it mutually shared? Um, I love a top chef. I'm, I, anytime people who are really good at what they do are like competing head to head, I want to watch it. You yeah. know? Uh -huh. Anytime people who are terrible at life are on television, I don't want to watch that. Like, don't no. get mad at me, but like, I don't like The Bachelor, for instance. Do you know what I, I know. mean? I'm so sorry. It's but hard. I don't like Iggy Azalea, <laughs> and I don't like The Bachelor. 
What's this all about? It's so rude. Hey, why are so we so rude? rude? These are nice people. Oh, we're so rude. Yeah. I mean, I also once asked you about Gilmore Girls. Have you come around to that yet? No. No. That's only because she hasn't watched it. It's not like she's watched it and been like, I, I hate it. It's no. not for me. And that's okay. It's not it's okay. It's okay for me to have it's not things okay. that I... No. There are things that you like that I don't like. That's okay. We are different people. You know, I she don't has look a lot good of... in a white jean. Either you do I. Rock... I still wear them, but I don't look good in them. I almost Come wore on, it man. today, and I thought, that's, not a, that's a crazy decision. Don't put a Why? white jean You're on. You're in Austin. You can wear a white no, no, jean. No, it's no, the no, summer. No, no. No, no. <clears throat> Question right there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, my God. Christina, I can't even see you. These Hi. lights are hung like the UCB. I can't it's see. It's quite, I know, right? It's like, well, there's no meat. Blood dripping on you, though. Well, so yeah, no, true. she was. Christine performed with Jason and I for 400 years at the UCB. At least 400 years. Yeah. How are you? I'm so glad to see you. Yes, we're glad to see you. Um, so I saw you directed that episode. Yes. Um, <laughs> amazing. Uh, so I want to ask Lennon, what yeah. is it like to be it's directed terrible. by Jessica? Well, we both directed an episode this season, which. Uh, <laughs> We sort of always direct. <laughs> I mean, we just have such a very specific idea of what we want it to look like and feel like, and all the elements of wh what we call girl porn have to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so we're always telling people what to do anyway. So we were like, we may as well just like cut out the middleman. But Although are we you have had a lot of amazing directors. But, and this season was no exception. But the first two episodes of this season we direct, or the first two s weeks. Right. So I directed episode three, which is like a Hoosiers-inspired episode. <laughs> and she directed uh, the first one. So she directed the fifth day of shooting. Right. And, and it, it was fine. I don't, think it's a surprise, really I don't think it's a surprise to you that I didn't show up with a, maybe a plan of sorts. <laughs> I was like, hey, guys, let's point some cameras. I don't understand cameras. I'm gonna leave that to you guys. You guys are the professionals. I wanna empower you guys to do your job because I'm probably not gonna do mine. <laughs> Lennon, however, came in with like, she, was, she thought she was fucking Rob, Ron Howard. She was just like, had, Rob Howard had like <laughs> schemes written out, you know, this camera here, you know, that's great. But that's not what you're gonna get from me. It, it was a big episode because it's like yes, I would have. It would have given me a nervous breakdown. You know. So you guys, t you tackle cancer this season. You do Tina Turner. You've done a lot. Yeah. Over yeah. the, the last three seasons. Is I wear shorts on camera for the first time, which is <laughs> the worst mistake I've ever made. She looks great. In a, a white short. man's athletic short I put on for most of the episode. Is is there anything that's like ever off the table? Nobody. You know what. The only thing, I mean, it's got to feel real no matter what. And also, like, we're not a fan of, like, girls, like, backstabbing each other. Nope. Ju that's just not what we do. Yeah, we that's never will you, sell each other girls. out or be nasty. I mean, if we I know, get in a fight, it's because yeah. it's a mistake. We, we are trying to act in each other's best interest, you know. And that's the thing. It's like you, you mess up because you love them too much. You keep something yeah. from her because you don't want to hurt her feelings, not because you're trying to steal her man or something like that, you know? Yeah. And I know we all know those women in the world that operate that way, but, like, the ones that you keep close, the ones that you call on a Saturday night, the ones that you cry on their shoulder, those are the, those are, that's who we're writing about. Yeah? Right. We have to end it on that note. I'm sorry. Aww. This has been a Thank blast. you guys so much. We said a lot of really weird things tonight, today. A lot of inappropriate. A lot of inappropriate things. Thank God it's not a Sunday. Love it if we just kept it between us. <laughs> so if that's Plain, possible. Plain House season three debuts with two episodes on Friday, June 23rd. Yes. Tweet us, please. We'll write back. And also all the episodes. Yeah, all the episodes will be available on demand on the 24th. So USA Now you can and watch all USA Network. eight episodes on the morning of the or And midnight. guys, just so you know, like Without you, we would not be back. And that's no joke. I don't know how this happened, but they were like, well, you know, people really are engaged. <laughs> there may be 25 of them, but they seem very engaged. More than 25 people so just here. so you know, when you tweet about it, when you just mention it to your friend, like that is how this show stayed that's alive. So we so appreciate that's it. And we happening. appreciate you and we love you. Ditto. Thank you guys.